What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to another question. We have to find the point on the parabola f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x minus 4, where the slope of the tangent is going to be horizontal. So if a tangent slope is horizontal, what does that mean? It means that the tangent slope is equal to 0 because the slope of a horizontal line is zero. So what we have to do is we have to find a general expression for the slope of the tangent for this function, and then we have to make it equal to zero and see at what x values that uh, slope is gonna be zero, that tangent slope is gonna be zero. So we can find a general expression using the difference quotient like we've been doing throughout the chapters. So we know that the slope of tangent of f of x at some x value a, we know in general it's going to be what? It's going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So what we have to do is we have to use this function and find expressions for f of a plus h and f of a. So let's start off with f of a plus h. So f of a plus h, what we do is we take a plus h and we plug it in for all the x values in the function. So we'll have 3 times a plus h uh, squared minus 5 times a plus h minus 4. So we're going to have to FOIL this out, a plus h times a plus h. That would give us a squared plus 2ah plus h squared then we'll have to expand that negative 5 inside the bracket, negative 5a minus 5h, and then we'll have minus 4 over here. So then we would expand inside this bracket, the 3, so we'll have 3a squared plus 6ah uh, plus 3h squared minus 5a minus 5h minus 4. So that is the expression for f of a plus h. Notice that there's no common um, or like terms that we can simplify, so we just leave it like that. And then what's f of a going to be? Well, f of a, we just plug in a for all the x values. It'll be 3a squared minus 5a minus 4. So this is the expression for f of a, and then this is the expression for f of a plus h. So we're going to plug this in here and then this in here into that difference quotient. So when you do that, you end up getting this huge expression in the numerator. So then when you distribute this negative inside this bracket, all these signs would change. And notice that the 3a squared, 3a squared would cancel out. Negative 5a plus 5a, that would cancel out. And then negative 4 plus 4 would cancel out as well. So you would just end up with the limit as h goes to 0 of what? 6ah plus 3h squared uh, minus 5h all over h. Now we still can't plug in an h value of 0 because we still have this h in the denominator, but we can get rid of it by factoring out an h in the numerator. So if we do factor out and h in the numerator will have 6a plus 3h minus 5. That's going to be all over h. And now the h's cancel out. Now we could plug in an h value of 0. So that means this 3h would go to 0. So we would just be left with 6a minus 5. So 6a minus 5 is the general expression for the slope of the tangent of this function at an x value of a. And we know that the tangent slope has to equal 0, so basically 6a minus 5 has to equal 0, and that's going to happen at an a value of 5 over 6. So at an x value of 5 over 6 on this function, 
slope of the tangent is going to be horizontal. However, they want the point, they don't just want the x value, so you'd have to find the y value by just plugging in 5 over 6 into the function. So we'd have 3, 5 over 6 squared minus 5 times 5 over 6 minus 4. So then here we'd have 25 over 36 times 3 would give us 75 over 36 minus 25 over 6 minus 4. Let's put it over 1. Now the 75 over 36, we can actually reduce this. So this would be, if we divide everything by 3, this would be 25 over 12. So now we just got to get a common denominator of 12. So uh, multiplying that by 2, multiplying the top by 2, we get 50 up here, and then if we have a 12 here, multiplying the top by 12 minus 48. So 25 minus 50 gives us negative 25, minus 48 gives us negative 73 over 12. So where, at what point on this function is the tangent going to be horizontal? Well, basically at 5 over 6 and negative 73 over 12. So that is the final answer. Now another point I want to make about this specific question because we're dealing with a parabola, if you think about it for any parabola, the tangent is always going to be horizontal on the vertex. So whether a parabola opens down or whether it opens up, like in this case, the only time that the tangent is going to be horizontal is at the vertex of a parabola. Remember that's only for a parabola, not any other function. So another way you could have found the point at which the tangent is horizontal is just by, uh, is just by finding the vertex of this parabola. So you could have maybe even completed the square on this if you remember how to do that from previous grades. So you'd factor out the 3 and then you would take that remaining b value divided by 2, square it, plus minus, etc, etc. So if you get that in vertex form, you would see that the vertex is equal to this, 5 over 6, negative 73 over 12. However, I don't recommend doing it that way because that's only going to work for a parabola. What if you get a function that's not a parabola? then you're gonna to have to do this method. So I would recommend just doing it this way, even though it might take you a little bit longer, it gives you good practice so you can be prepared on your test no matter what type of function they give you.